As you hopefully enjoy this compilation of skillful people, we're heading for the fourth clip and tell you some really interesting tips on how to carve during skiing. Carving has become synonymous with great skiing, it's how World Cup racers ski, and it creates some of the most memorable and exciting moments as you are skiing. A carved turn is where the ski is bent against its natural camber into an arc, and that arc shape guides the skis along a curved path. Modern skis are already shaped to make this easier. When carving, the tail of the ski follows the same path of the tip, meaning almost no resistance from the snow, and leaves a clean pencil line track in the surface of the piece. A carving ski will move faster and build more pressure, so you feel higher g-forces than in any other turn, which is why it's the best technique for racing. It is also why it feels so good. Start by carving the very end of your turns and, when you can control speed and balance well, bring it further up in the arc. Here's how to carve, tip them over and balance on the outside. That's all there is to it. Sounds simple? It is in theory, in practice a lot of things have to go right for this to happen effectively. Stand still on a reasonably steep hill, with the skis across the fall line. Try to sidestep up the hill without the skis sliding down. That position right before you step the uphill foot off the snow has everything you need to make a ski car, the skis are edged and you are balanced on the outside. Try traversing in this position with a bit of speed and aim to get the edge to bend and bite rather than slide. Link some turns together aiming to steer into this position and feel the pressure and edging you create. Play around with this on different slopes, and get comfortable doing it at speed. Do you notice the steeper the hill the quicker the skis want to drive up the hill out of the traverse? Traversing on a steeper pitch means a higher edge angle, so the ski bends more when you balance over the middle and tightens the radius of the turn. If you have any trouble with this, try dragging the outside pole tip in the snow, or reaching down the hill to touch your outside knee or boot to move your center of mass more over the outside ski. Work it up the turn, make angles. To tip the skis on edge the lower legs need to tip to the inside. To balance on the outside foot, the center of mass needs to move the other way. So, to edge effectively we need to make angles in the body, as you do when preparing to step up the hill. Carving into the fall line. Carving the first half of the turn will pick up a lot of speed. To work on this, head to a wide easy green run where you can straight line with no worries. Putting it together. Make some bigger more complete turns now, trying to bring this move into the start. You are looking to edge the skis and establish balance on the outside ski earlier in the turn now.